something wrong to a fellow human being, you need to make sure that as they may forgive you, it's your duty to undo what you've done. Your duty. So you go back to the people whom you might have addressed and you make sure that you tell them, you know, I said this about the sister. I was wrong. I actually sought forgiveness. She is a very good sister, etc., etc. Or you might want to undo it in another way. You know, someone steals money from another without knowing. And this has happened. One guy was working for another guy. And as he was working, he was, you know, they were not a leaking bucket, but the till was leaking, you know. So the money was moving from the till into his pocket. And years later, he repented to Allah and so on. So he came to one of the mashayikh and asked him, he says, you know, I stole from this business when I used to work there many years ago. Now I don't know how to actually uh, say to the brother, uh, or to the people, be they Muslim or non-Muslim, it's irrelevant. They are humans, you stole from them. I don't know how to say that uh, I stole from you and this is the money. So you have several people answering in different ways. I tell you the original way is to put your pride at wherever it could be. Take it out. Go forth and say, you know, brother, you worked here many, many years ago. I, unfortunately, I was young. I was a person who never had an understanding and I stole 20 bucks from you and here it is. I'm really, really sorry. Please forgive me. Right? That's the proper way. Listen to the silence. Why? Because it's not easy to go up to someone and say, you know, I really did a few nasty things. I'm so sorry and so on. Yeah, you're fortunate. If you don't want to take the cash, you can actually ask them for forgiveness. But don't do it in such a vague way that they don't even have a clue that 20,000 bucks were stolen and I'm trying to look for them all over. And this guy thinks it's okay for me to just hug him and say, oh, forgive me if I've done anything. He said, don't worry, forgiven, you know, big heart. Ah, and you're excited. That's 20 grand. I no longer need to give it back. I just heard him say, forgiven. Do you know what? It's not easy for a human being to actually forgive sometimes. That's why they say the crimes you commit against fellow humans are worse than those that you commit against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala besides shirk. Remember this. Because if you were to turn to Allah, seek His forgiveness, He will forgive you. But if you ask a human being for forgiveness, they are not ghafoor rahim Rahman rahim most forgiving, most merciful. They may not forgive you. They may not. But like I say, and I'm going to repeat it again, let us, my brothers and sisters, let us make sure that we forgive others as much as possible. You know, we take cue from the story of Aisha radiallahu anha in Surah An-Nur, where Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu decided not to forgive the man known as Mistah ibn Athatha radiallahu anhu because he was spreading rumors that Aisha radiallahu anha had committed immorality. And that was the daughter of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu. And the wife of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So he says, I'm not going to spend on this man anymore. I used to spend lots of money on this man, Mistah. He's related to me. He's from the Muhajireen. Yes, he's a Muslim, but he's, I'm not going to spend on him because he's so ungrateful, so much ingratitude that as I spend, he's spreading rumor about me. Imagine you're sponsoring someone to do something and they're speaking bad about you. That is terrible. That is horrible. So when Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu took an oath not to spend on this man, Allah revealed verses. وَلْيَعْفُوا وَلْيَصْفَحُوا أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ Allah says those with virtue, those whom we've granted virtue and sustenance and provision, those whom we've given value to, they should not make an oath that they're not going to spend on someone because of X, Y and Z. Allah says, Rather embrace and forgive for indeed Allah is most forgiving. Wouldn't you like Allah to forgive you? Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. You know what I learned from this? 
If I want the forgiveness of the most forgiving, I need to have within me a quality of forgiving others as well. And you forgive them, alhamdulillah, as best as possible. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. Oh my God. Oh my Allah. Well, these are statements that people say. Statements of declaration of the greatness of Allah Almighty. Statements of declaration of the power, the might. Statements of astonishment. Statements of gratitude towards Allah. Masha Allah, tabarakallah. Whatever Allah has willed has happened. And whatever Allah wills will happen. When you see something astonishing, amazing. Yes, the question asked, is it permissible to say, oh my God. The answer is technically, although Muslims referring to the God or God as Allah Almighty, it is a translation of Ya Ilahi, Oh my Lord, Oh my God, Oh my Allah, Ya Allah, you know, Oh my Allah. So you would say, Oh my God, it's a translation of it in English. Technically, it's not prohibited, but it is preferred and better to use Beautiful terms like Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. That is amazing. So this is just a very short video to explain that although it is not prohibited, I think it depends what you're saying it about. People put OMG regarding anything and everything, be it permissible or not, be it halal or haram or whatever it may be. Yes, Technically, like I said, it is not prohibited. Oh my God, man, can you imagine? But you're a Muslim, you're a believer. Why don't you just say, Subhanallah, you attain such a great reward. Why don't you say, Subhanallah, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, La ilaha illallah, Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for us and He is the best disposer of our affairs. How amazing is this? La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. We have no might, no, no you know, uh, nothing, no power, no might except that of Allah. Whatever we have is from Allah. You know, so to show astonishment in a beautiful way where the, the name of Allah is mentioned is something that a believer understands. And we are rewarded if we were to utter the beautiful words of dhikr. But if some people say, oh my Allah, mm, it's okay. But if you translated the O and the my, you could actually technically translate it to God as well. Because we know who you are referring to. I know some people get very technical and they start saying that, well, God could be anything. No, if you're a Muslim, everyone knows that this is a Muslim. He or she is referring to Allah. So I believe that if a Muslim says, my God, I worship my God, the one God, etc. People know that they're referring to Allah because they are Muslim. So I am saying there is permissibility, but still we advise you to just say, Subhanallah. May Allah reward all of us and grant us a reward every time we express this astonishment using a beautiful name of His, a quality of His, some form of remembrance of His. And inshallah, we gather in Jannatul Firdaus. Subhanallah. السلام عليكم ورحمة